In this video, we're going to talk about basic materials in Rhino. You can see here the render is uh, active and it's doing a lot of work right now, so I'm going to stop it. Now, the first thing I want to tell you is that some materials in Rhino are pretty heavy to render, so you should have a nice graphic card or nice processors to render advanced materials. So, well, let's get started here. First of all, I'm using here a different HDRI, which I got from the uh, Polyaven website. So you can also go here and look for an indoor, if you want indoor or exterior, depends what you wish to do. In my case, I'm using the uh, interior because I want to change a little bit the context. So, for example, we can use this one here, download it, save it in the HDRI, and I've created a folder for this, where I'm saving all these textures, and then you can apply it. Well, we saw how we can apply this directly in the rendering panel, but we can also drag and drop this into the scene and we just have to tell Rhino that this is going to be an environment so it's going to change there for us okay now be careful to get the right position here not where it's too bright and also you can see here there are different so you need to have the same one if you want to have the same reflections and the same illumination. You need to make sure that you're using the same texture for all these effects. Okay, so you can see here the material looks really nice thanks to the HDRI and to the image-based lightning. Also, let's fix the rotation here a little bit. All right. So let's get started here with materials. To create a new material, we can go here in the render tools, click on the toggle material panel, and this is gonna show me now all the materials that I have already placed onto these objects. So if I select one, it's gonna show me which material has been applied. So this is really handy because I can trace back the material that I've used for a particular object. And you can say, I created many just to test them so I suggest you do the same thing because as everything else you will need a little bit of practice that's all you need to experiment now I'm gonna extend this so we can see it better and uh, well I have here a bunch of materials that I've just created but I can select them all and just delete them like this and now we can start all over now right click is gonna make you access to different functions here. Now, with this empty panel, you will only have the standard material, which is kind of a clay or like really opaque plastic, not glossy. So let's select the first one here and let's create the first material. And let's say that I want to create a custom material. And this is basically what it's doing here. This is the same material that it has been already applied. Now, if you want to use this, just click, drag and drop there that onto the object that you want to use. And the first thing we can see here, well, we have a preview. We have this panel here that can be open and closed. We can give a little bit more space. We can increase the uh, size here of the thumbnail. Now, this is actually rendering right now. So all the work that the software is doing let's see here in the properties it can be can be changed here so you can use V-Ray for example it's, it's an excellent plugin and you can also check our video course in V-Ray for Rhino well I definitely suggest you use V-Ray because it's a little bit faster and also has better quality and performance but you can test here we have cycles and right now I'm using the CPU, but you can change if you have a strong graphic card, you can select 
the graphic card instead of the CPU and here you have also different um, let's say parameters if you want to decrease the quality so it's, you, you will see more pixel pixelized so less quality but it's gonna be faster and also here you can have a faster response or slower well you can play with this and remember that you can switch from CPU to to graphic card so for example let me change here the color let's make this yellow okay now you can see here that it's gonna look a little bit more pixelated here and also in the rendering so we are using less power in the rendering but it's gonna be a little bit faster so it depends on your needs basically and this is the, the first material now right click we can also copy this and again right click and we can paste it and so it's gonna be called custom 2 let's apply this to another object and let's change the color again so the first thing and uh, probably the easiest thing to do is to change the color now you also have here let me create another one by pressing the plus icon you have also other types of material like double-sided double-sided is useful when you have like a surface like this and you want to assign two different materials so let's apply to this to the object and right here in a double-sided you click for a material in the front so let's select something else here let's select a metal okay so the, the inside will be metallic and the outside let's select a plaster or plastic okay so you can see I have two different materials for the inside and the outside and you can do this by going into the library you can start to assign different ready-made materials if you don't want to create all, all by yourself you have here these standard materials glasses there you go and let's continue here for metal again and you can see again thanks to the HDRI we have nice reflections okay and let's create also paint so this is a little bit glossy compared to the standard and we're going to get here to physically based in just a minute you can also apply a picture plaster here which is gonna be more well less glossy as you can see and that's it so we test the, the first materials and now let's get started to talk about the PBR which is physically based render materials 